Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this GB Circuit Analyzer. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. Now I've seen these over the years and I always thought they were kind of funny. Why wouldn't you just use a traditional like circuit tester where you put the two probes in and it lights up? But I finally decided to get one of these. And one of the reasons is a lot of outlets now are tamper resistant and it's hard to stick probes in the slots. So they do have some different models of these. I got the one with the GFCI function. I don't know if I need that, but I figure I might as well get that. Hopefully I can get it open here. Okay, finally got it out. So it does list some features on the back. It says indicates five common wiring errors, dual status charts, bright three view indication, ground fault circuit test button. It tests three prong outlets, GFCI outlets, and energized extension cords. It does have full instructions that you can download from the website, but here's the tester itself. So it has a chart on here and it's on both sides. So that's good. So it doesn't matter which direction your outlet is wired, but it does only have the button on one side, but you could feel for it if it's upside down. So this tests for open ground, open neutral, open hot, hot ground reversed, hot neutral reversed, and correct. So let me try this on a couple different outlets to test it out. So it does say this draws 0.3 watts. Let's try it here. So here we only have the middle. It says open ground. Oh, I'm not plugged in all the way. Let me turn my light off. So it's kind of bright in here. It's not super easy to see, but I am able to see it. It looks like a neon tube similar to a traditional tester. And that is in there pretty good too. Let's try this, see what we get. So here we have the first two lit up, and that is correct. So the lights are not super consistent, but this does not seem to be passing through the ground. So I don't know, this does something to it. And I've had that issue before with this plug. It acts a little weird when you're using the power meter. But this looks like it's wired correctly. And that, again, this is kind of stiff to... Again, let me look at the... Uh, let's see the power draw on this. I don't know why, but yeah, it's not showing the watts on here, but this is pretty low draw. If you have weak hands, this may not be a good option for you, depending on the outlet you're plugging it into. It does seem to be splayed just ever so slightly there. Let's try a GFCI and a tamper-proof outlet. I was going to take this to an outlet, but I might as well just do it here in my studio, or I can have some better lighting. Now, I'm not testing the circuit here. I just want to see how easy this is to insert into this. And that inserted super easy. Sticking probes in here, you'd have to get them in at the exact same time. So typically, if I wanted to test this, I would use some other, like, extension cord or something plugged in here. But this is going to be much, much easier. So here I have a GFCI protected outlet. So both of these are GFCI. I'll plug in here. We can see it is wired correctly. I'll press the button and it triggered the test. Now you may wonder why you wouldn't just press this button, but here we have one that's connected up to this and this could be in another room. So we can plug into it and make sure it is also protected. Now you'd have to go back to the outlet or your breaker and press the button. So this could be good for testing GFCI outlets that are protected with a GFCI breaker. So that's the GB circuit analyzer. I think this is gonna make it a lot easier to test circuits. So if I was replacing an outlet, I could stick this in, I could see the light on there, go turn the breaker off and I could check back at this and see if the light's off to know if it has power. I like to check multiple different ways if something is powered or not, but this is a easy way. I've also been working on my camper and it has some different breakers on it and I want to figure out which of the outlets are powered by which breakers. So this will be a super easy way to do it. And it's actually kind of dim in the camper too, so I should be able to plug this in and just flip the breakers and I can see across the camper, which is pretty small, if this shuts off or not. I like the compact size of this and the lights are okay. Like I say, I think they're neon tubes, so they're not as bright and easy to see as a modern LED or something, but it serves its purpose. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.